Nasema I was born gay mm-hmm. but nilijua I was 6 years old mm-hmm. na hapo ndivyo nili nilijua ni kama niko na romantic feelings towards girls wait yeah 6 years did you six say 6 years 6 years? Six. I think 6 years in mtoto wa class 1 yeah actually ni kwa class 1 nikaanza kumpenda yeah, I made a decision to love her because by the way ndo mko first year eh si first year first year second year yo yote ilikuwa like ku have fun na madem uh-huh. eh, but now that dear ndivyo ni limit na yu dem Hello guys this is Mr. A lot more your senior Udaku reporter and of course a lot more is coming i am coming to you live from nk studios ni kwa kupiga story na i'm super i'm super mbaya nimekutana na story yake pale online kikimbia sana nikasema you know what mr kioko wacha tumtafute aje tusikie story yake iweze ku inspire wengi sana pale nje uh, because you guys know your request is always my command nimesema tuanze kuleta hizi story humanitarian hivi tujue mambo iko namna gani and of course guys This episode is proudly sponsored by Tech Globe Tours and Travel. This is the number one visa application company not only in Kenya but also in Africa. Unataka kwenda wapi? Ikuwe ni Australia, ikuwe ni Dubai, ikuwe ni any Europe country, ikuwe ni Canada, United States of America. Hata kama machako sinataka visa pia tunakupatia unasema nini? Because Tech Globe is where the a great journey begins. Yes, office yetu iko pale West Park Suite opposite Parklands Police Station second floor. Karibu na kila kitu kitakuwa ni shwari kabisa. Habari am super. Poa sana. Kwa vizuri. Eh, First of all you are looking sharp. Eh. Unajua mimi ni mtu ambaye napenda luko sana. Eh. Ah mimi napenda mtu anakaa. Imeweza. Ah hii ni hii ni mbaya, hii ni noma. <laughs> Thanks man. Kwanza hiyo inaitwaje? One cut. Eh. Kwenye blazer. Uh-huh. Umeua. <coughs> But by the way, so. hii ni kala? Iko e, ndani? Purple. Ah you see purple. See purple. Kwa ni ko. Nakaa ni yellow hivi. Niko bwana gini? Eh niko fit. Mtulatia nini? Eh mimi nimeleta tu uzuri wa Mungu. Uzuri wa Mungu. Eh, ah Mungu anasaidia kila siku. Eh, me usel tu Mungu. Eh. eh. By the way, kutoka kama hapo mention Mungu mara moja. Eh. I think pia jina yako iko na something to do with God. Hebu angalia kamera tuambie jina yako unaitwa nani? Jeje. Unatokea wapi? Mm. Alafu unafanya nini kwa maisha? Okay. Ah uh, mimi naitwa Masi Clax. Ah uh, mimi ni rapper from the 254. Uh, upcoming mm-hmm. obviously toa kuna watu uh, nitoe ah toa jitambue <laughs> yeah mimi ni rapper na pia mimi ni um, policy analyst policy Deze. analyst yeah policy analyst yeah, oh, analyze two policies oh yeah. natokea wapi uh, kwetu ni limoro but kwangu ni kasa kwa kwa ni kasa Deze. ah wow umejenga kasa <laughs> <laughs> eh nice. but tunajulikana sana limoro eh oh, limoro eh, limoro uko ndo megroya. Yeah. Eh. Ah, that's nice. Eh. Let me learn a story ya kora ningependa to share na watu. Uh-huh. I mean uh, uweze ku inspire wawili watatu au sio? Eh. Uh, kazi basi. Iko sawa. Um for me, mm. uh, naweza sema I was born gay. Mm-hmm. But say I'm I'm a born again Christian. Mm-hmm. So kuna hapo kuzaliwa mara mbili. Mm. Uh, niliju, nilijijua ile time nilijijua I was six years old na hapo ndivyo nili nilijua ni kama niko na romantic feelings towards girls wait yeah 6 years did you six say 6 years 6 i think 6 years in mtoto wa class 1 yeah actually ni kwa class 1 juu nakumbuka vizuri class 1 is the only class ambayo nilisoma kwa shule fulani hapo like class 2 uh, kwenda mbele nilikuwa shule ingine mm. nursery pre unit ni kwa shule ingine but This specific class nilikuwa like shule specific. At, so nakumbuka vizuri. At class one you, are, you have romantic feelings. Yeah. yeah. How? Is it possible? I, I think it is because but then nimepata hii swali like na watu wengi sana because mm. ukipata like my boy mm. like boys like hata wenye sige mm. like wako na hizo attractions romantic attractions hata mm-hmm. wakiwa wadogo ni vile hawaji ku express oh. because hao ni human beings ambao wamekuja na pa- full package mm-hmm. so hata the romance iko ndani iko ndani yeah so me for me nilikam nili na nilikuja nili kujua that 
I'm attracted to girls sivyo eh mm. uh, six oh. years ndivyo mse ujijua mm. like do your brain development some yeah, say ku grow sasa eh akili isha, isha grow so najijua mm. eh san mimi ni jijua nika eh na feel madem mm. eh aha uh-huh. so um from there like the the feelings zilendelea ku grow but the thing is the same uh, year like when i was just six years old Uh, my boy wawili wali come to me wali ni approach wakani show eh hey, masi una jaji um nika like walikuwa na offer to have sex mm. hey. but mimi nikawa show hapana cuz for me nilikuwa like my my background it's a christian background mm-hmm. so mimi wa, watu wenye wako introverted mm-hmm. so siko anapenda kucheza sana so mm-hmm. nikiwa church tukitoka Sunday school na tu, na tu church like church main service oh. after your time eh, churches ni zile za zamani mm. zile elders walikuwa naangalia the congregation so mm. tulikuwa tunaka huko mbele na budangu mm. so at that time you know like word ninasikia na bible husema faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of god mm. so hapo ndivyo nilijijenga nili, nili like faith yangu hata nikiwa mtu hii mm. sijui vile like nilisema nilisema the sex thing it's bad ada si, sai sijui like nilisemaje hivyo mm. unaona ju ni kwa mtu hii so niliambia wao maboy hapana and then waka persist mimi mm. nikawa show um hapana cause Yesu wa pindi unaona like this is a child talk nikawaambia mm. Yesu wa pindi waka persist mm. then wakatumia hiyo jina Yesu ju sasa nimeiweka kwa hiyo nini hiyo mm. talk wakani show at nivyo Yesu akuje Mary and Joseph ile fawa nini wa wa engage like sexually mm-hmm. so i was six years old siko uh-huh. anajua ati <laughs> ati yesu ali, alizaliwa na uh, virgin mm. so kama so, so we many show like mary and joseph had to do this thing yeah. so me nikao na ai hii kitu nikaa nifiti mm. unaona so me tukaanza like ku engage sexually na maboy mm. but still i had sasa uko tena Six years. Six years bad. Yeah. Uko class Six one years. bado. Yes. Hii ni mwaka gani? Tuo. Hey. Kitambo. Kitambo Sa, sana. Hapo. Siwezi kumbuka tu. <laughs> oh. Anyway, um bado ni niko na hizi romantic feelings towards mm-hmm. girls, mm-hmm. but still ni tuna engage sexually na no maboys. Boys. Mhm. Hao boys walikuwa 10 ten, ten years, yeti walikuwa wakubwa. Mm. So hata hao nikao walikuwa na wana I don't know. Walikuwa tu wana explore. Mm. Yeah. I don't know. Anyway, so after that um sa mimi nikiwa sa class 4 class 5 at mm. around 10 years 11 years hapo hivyo mm. ndivyo nilianzia my periods. Mm. Eh ili come and then hiyo ndivyo time tunafunzwa kwa shule about sex education. Mm. So me hapo ndivyo nilikam kujua like kenye tunaduna maboy ni mba ni mbaya. Hapo mimi nilikuwa tomboy, tulikuwa tunacheza bano mm. like ku ride bike, kucheza futa. Mm like ni kwa too tomboy like my my brain ilikuwa too tomboyish mm. so hata games zenye nilikuwa nacheza za maboy eh yeah. mm. tulikuwa tunacheza na maboy but sasa uh, nikiwa sa yo age 4 cl- nikiwa class 4 class 5 like 11 around 11 years ndivyo nilikam kujua like e sex ni mbaya so mm. nikaambiwa like mchezo na maboy hii mchezo mnachezanga na maboy mm. ni mbaya so mimi nilelewa like it is a bano nini nini hiyo okay. ndivyo mbaya mm. unaona like ku ride bike nini nini so mimi nikajifungia and I'm a only kid nikajifungia kama siko shule ama church niko home mm-hmm. um so after that um hapo eh, eh, ndivyo sana tulianza kufunzwa about sex education kwa shule nikajua sex pia ni mbaya so ile kitu enye nilikuwa na do pia mm-hmm. ni mbaya mm-hmm. so kwa ile harakati he kwa rakati ya kukua kwa nyumba mm. like nimejifungia niko ni na watch two tv mm. cuz tv ilikuwa like my sibling mm. cuz siko na sibling so ni nilikuwa nina nina niki ni watch like the tv now kwa hiyo harakati at that time uh, nikaanza kuona u, kuna msanii alikuwa anaitwa Sarambogo mm. huyu ni msanii alikuwa um, al, like she is a good worshipper uh, great woman of god na nikatiki ngoma yake ilikuwa inaimba about sodom and gomora 
eh that was the first time niliona yeah, madem so I'm going to join. Oh, I'm going to follow the feelers. You must be the judge. The one you call like. Eh, anyway, um so upon the one Ilona Mademo Awili like for the first time, Ilona Mademo Awili wame kids kwa hiyo ngoma. And I was like, "Shit." Kwa video. Eh, yeah, kwa hiyo video. Kwa hiyo video hiyo ngoma. Mm-hmm. Sasa niko like, "Man, hii ni ile kitu mimi feel." ini kitu yenye mi like the romance obviously uta fantasize mm. ini kitu mi feel na nimeiteki mm. so sio mimi tu unaona mm. so at least nilipata kanini encouragement eh sio kan encouragement ama oh eh <laughs> relieved eh kwa relieved like at least it's not me nimeona mademo wengine sa shida ilikuwa kwa hiyo wimbo Sodom and Gomorrah obviously eh so wase walitomwa so mm. kwa hiyo wimbo niliona wase wametomwa eh nikaona rada ni gani tena like hii ni kitu yenye mimi feel like saa tena ninaona nikaa hii kitu ni mbaya ni mbaya so nilikuja kujua my romantic feelings towards girls mm. ilikuwa mbaya at, mm. at the at around the same time nilijua the sexual engagements nilikuwa nilikuwa na have with the boys mm. ilikuwa mbaya nilijua like at the same time at around the same time mm. so i was like messed up man cuz i don't know afu i'm an introverted person so nilijiekea all the secrets nikajifungia mm-hmm. ndani yangu but so, obviously the sexual engagements na maboy si imesha mm. but the romantic feelings zinaendelea attractions kwa madem inaendelea ina grow e, inaendelea ku grow na hiyo ni kitu singeweza ku ku stop ku stopisha cuz hata si kitu unaweza ongea na mse unaona mm. um so ili grow closet tukafanya ke after ke like hiyo time tulikuwa tumehama Kabete tukahamia Limuru mm. so tukiwa Limuru kulikuwa na convention conference mm. ya Pastor Lai Pastor mm. Lai alikuwa huko Limuru mm. na hiyo time ndivyo it was my first time ku answer the altar call mm. like ile time pasi anasema nani anataka kuokoka so that was my first time mm. nilisema ni, na, nataka kuokoka mm. na hapo ndivyo niliokoka so for me in my mind i was like acha ni okay easy feelings zini ziisho unaona mm. so nika kujiosha like yende mm. afu plus ninaenda high school mm. high school kuna madem afu ni boarding unaona mm. so I was ready like i put my life in order na mm. cheki so nikaombewa nikaokoka nini nikaingia form 1 form 1 i was cool ni kwa fiti but sasa the attractions zile grow and there was a specific person ambaye nilikuwa attracted to now nikiwa for months sasa na ya kwa form hata ya kwa form 1 mm-hmm. the same class but now this was the first time nili express my romantic feelings towards a girl mm. nili express through kuandika letter mm-hmm. nikamwandikia letter nini nini eh unajo for months obviously wacha kizo mambo mm. akasema hapana nini nini mimi nikasikia ni kama ni bo mm. so it can't live uh, mimi nikaanza ku have feelings towards other other girls and uh, from 2 from 3 from 4 kaanza ku ask celeb joni na rap uh, ni kwa eh, ni kwa na rap shule mm. na, na ninakuwa ka celeb afu uh, mimi ni captain wa handball afu ni kwa kopa wa shule mm. so like is the whole school not the whole school mm. eh, but sasa hizi zote like ni nika nilikuwa na influence zimekuja ka privilege sasa eh ka privilege unaona afu sasa niko form 2 form 3 now form 3 form 4 oh my god hapo mm. ndivyo sasa like vitu zilienda tu mesta ilikuwa tu messed up mm. so hapo ndivyo sasa at my sec- like nearly the express now sexually mm. with other girls so afterwards after from four tukaingia kampo so the same thing nilikuwa na closet like nataka like ni kwetu straight mm. that was my number one prayer ni kwetu straight ni have romantic feelings towards guys but aiko ina make so nikiingia kampo uh, nili date wasi watatu mm. men mm. moja mfupi moja mrefu 
moja feminine mm. ndivyo at least nione kama e, kama shida ni yao mamimi unaona mm. but sana niliona aya ni kasi wa feel unaona mm. kabisa kabisa si wa feel siko na wa feel mm. hey. so ngoja kidogo nataka ni kurudisha nyuma kidogo uh-huh. umetupia tu story ya form 1 Eh, from 2 from 3 from 4. Eh, sa hiyo hiyo influence unajua sana nilikuwa na influence. Mm. So girls walikuwa tu wana come to me mm. na um nili, nilikuwa na express now sexually. Mm. Eh. So kuna wenye walikubali. Eh, kuna wenye walikubali. Jua hata nao wako na hizo attractions. Okay. Mm. Kama wangapi hivi? Eh, sita sita. <laughs> acha tu nisiseme namba okay. but eh, so nikiwa kampo ndivyo nikaanza ku date ah my boy mm. very Unibu different uh, okay. eh, eh, walikuwa different guys like mm. totally different moja alikuwa masculine mwingine alikuwa feminine alafu height pia kulikuwa na difference in height ndivyo nijiweka shida ni mimi ama ni yao unaona mm. ndivyo niko na ai ni kama kitu i make now. sense eh i make sense na mimi so me i i chose my 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 road like this is me nikajikubali hivyo eh jusa ni kwa on denial mm. from ni kwa mtu wewe unaona yeah so nika nikaanza ku nini si ku date like ku have fun na madem cuz mm. si kwa into relationships mm. mtu ni dem akuje cut me vibe nini nini Yeah. So but sa kulikuwa na huyu specific uh, kadem lady. Uh, nilikuwa nimempenda by the way but at first sikuwa nimempenda kuza kwa type yangu. Ako ame, ame like hakuwa type yangu. Hmm. But ile mambo alikuwa na ni show like I was like wow. Jo alikuwa na anaanza ku, ku show about marriage mm. like having a future together. Alikuwa alikuwa anatumia the words we our na cheki. Sana niko like wow. Mm. So this thing can be serious. Mm-hmm. And I was like damn. Hata kama si type yangu, acha nimfungulie roho. Mm-hmm. So I made I made a nini, decision. Nini nilikuwa nafanya siku type yako? <laughs> Unajua kila msi yako na nini yake, preference yake. Yeah. Yeah, so like eh hakuwa tu type yangu mm. but she was beautiful eh, na na ni msempoa sana hadi wa leo ni msempoa obicha tuongea okay. but um so uh, like uyo dem uh, kaanza kuongea about now the marriage mm. like settling down okay eh niko na nika dem ako serious na mimi nikaanza kujusa mimi nilikuwa joke nilikuwa tuna have fun unaona mm. eh So niko na nika naweza settle down na huyo dem. Alafu plus ako na vision, ako na ako na vibe tu poa like IQ yake tu iko juu. Mm-hmm. And nikaanza kumpenda. I made a decision to love her. Cuz by the way, ndo mko first year. Eh si first year. First year second year yo yote ilikuwa like ku have fun na madem. Mm-hmm. Eh, but now that dear ndivyo ni limit na huyo dem. So nikaanza kuona nika tunaweza settle down na huyo dem. But sasa mimi huuliza Mungu kwanza before I make a big decision. Mm. Mimi uliza Mungu cuz Mungu ni kama at that time nilikuwa namuita my brother, mm. now Jesus. Nilikuwa namuita my bro. Mm. So before I made any decision, nilikuwa nina ninauliza ama nina inquire from God. Mm. So uh, like that lady was the first lady mwenye alifanya ni kneel down <laughs> kuuliza Mungu ka she is the one. Mm-hmm. So me Kenya niliambia God that time you were in love. Yeah, I was in love deep, deep mm-hmm. in love. I have me anza kuongea about marriage. Mm-hmm. So and I cannot do any big thing without uh, inquiring from God. Mm-hmm. So me nikaambia God ni pesa ni sawa. Sitaki ku, uh, uniambie homosexuality ni mbaya ama si mbaya. Nipe tu sign. Niambia ka udem eh tu, tu, kama kama tunafaa tuna kuoana na unataka hivyo mm. acha iendelee mm. but kama hudai acha inini mm-hmm. ikatama mbele tu um, kama kama unataka ni kwena huyu dem mm. like acha tuendelee na hii relationship but kama hudai like ikatishe sasa huyu ni god na ongelesha mm-hmm. 
So <laughs> like weekend ikakuja niliachia hiyo Mungu. Weekend ikakuja kama kawa dema kakuja ka sleep over nini we had a good time eh aka spend the weekend but sasa the day enye ana anafaa kuishia home like mm. home kwao ndivyo sali um ni menini ile day sasa alikuwa ana anafaa kuishia home kwao ndivyo alinipa silent treatment like i was like mbona unanipa silent treatment mm. na sija kufanya anything so in my mind i was like aki mungu amefanya ile kitu Mm. Or like ananipikia ananipikia chakula fiti mm. like tunakaa vizuri tu miss sija do anything mm. like na ni shoka nime do anything mm. but tu amenipa silent treatment Akajimaza so amenyamaza tu so niko like ai nika Mungu amefanya ile kitu so nika nika June, ilikuwa time yake ya kuisha home nika call cab ikamkujia but sir uh, instead aende solo tukaenda mm. na ye ni at least ni jue ni dig up shida ni gani cuz mm. now i was afraid of losing her cuz mm. nilikuwa nimeambia god eh, kama udai hii relationship acha to break and at that time tulikuwa hivi tulikuwa mm. close kabisa so I, i thought that it was impossible for god to do that but mm. after that we yeah, nikaenda nikampe push hadi kwao um bado tu amenipa silent treatment nini nini sasa so, mimi nikajua eh, hii ni kaye hii imeenda hii imeenda huyu ameisha mm-hmm. but sasa nikakuwa angry hiyo pain ya kuluzu hiyo dem ikafanya nikuwe angry towards god kwa nini kwa sababu eh, niliona amejibu hiyo maombi haraka sana hata mm-hmm. seven days haiko imeisha like seven ama 14 days haiko imeisha mm-hmm. before like uh, after nimesema hiyo prayer haiko mm-hmm. imeisha na god ashajibu But sasa nikiwa mtu hii six years old nili mention zina yako Yesu mbona hukukuja so nilikuwa nauliza God hivyo mbona huko kama hiyo time mm. nikiwa mtu hii sasa hii ndio unajua kukuja nikiwa mkuu nikiwa Bigi. mkubwa kutu break na my my like, like my ex mm. sasa nilikuwa very angry towards God na mimi nikamwambia God eh, kama ni kama hivyo ndivyo nakuanga like me and you acha tu tumalizane tu ukakosana na Mungu sasa yani nikakosana na Mungu uh-huh. <laughs> but sasa yeah. of it ni ujinga cause <laughs> ni kama fish kuambia maji <laughs> mimi na wewe tume tumemalizana tume una get your concept so after nimeambia hivyo god obviously nime declare my independence from him mm. he is the source of life mm. he is the source of protection Everything. he's my provider after that mimi nika, nikaendelea ku have fun na madem mm. Ke, ni, like napita tu na madem hata hiyo time sikuwa nataka hata like ku vibe yeah. na any dem mimi tu nilikuwa napita na any dem kupita una maana nini kupita <laughs> ulikuwa na kula dem na muacha una kula mwingine na muacha eh nilikuwa tu na have fun mm. na lakini sana have fun na hasira mm. eh ni kama sa I don't know how to explain it but nilikuwa tuna have fun na maasira mm-hmm. then so oh, nime nime declare my independence from god mm-hmm. within seven days nimekuwa hijacked mm-hmm. within seven days nimekuwa involved in two accidents mm-hmm. within seven days nimepelekwa kwa CID ati nimeteka mtu nyara tena after kukosana na Mungu after kukosana na Mungu sasa hapa nikajua ni kama God anataka kuniua. Mm-hmm. So mimi nikasema, "Ah, mi Mungu mi I'm not changing my mind. I'm not changing my mind. Mm-hmm. Mimi na wewe tushamalizana na wewe. Mm-hmm. Kama ni hell naenda acha niende." Mm-hmm. And nikapack, juu kama ni Mungu anataka kuniua, mm-hmm. acha nikufie nyumbani. Unaona? So mimi nikaenda Kanda Limuru sasa. Ni kenda Limuru. At that time nilikuwa na kakimo. Nikaenda Limuru. Kenda Limuru kuna pasi alikuwa ameni invite kwa kesha and siku niliacha nini yake on red like kwa whatsapp niliacha text yake on red kwa siku anataka kwenda tumemalizana na god but sasa vile nilifika home mm-hmm. nilipata wazao anajitayarisha kwenda kesha mm-hmm. so i'm an only kid na niko home so awezi enda wakienda wataulizwa mimi niko wapi mm-hmm. na ju pasi alikuwa ameni invite ni rap 
like i had like i had to go kwa heshima ya pasi so mimi nikaisha so unajua kesha uh, kuna kuanga na program praise worship nini nini so niki, time ya praise ilifika nikasikia nikawa say wameimba sana wananipigia noise Mm. wame sweat wananuka mdomo nini <laughs> so mimi nikasikia i e environment haiko conducive for me ikafika mm. time ya worship wase wanalia na sikia disgusted mm-hmm. with them because eh hey, ilikuwa tu weird because siko na feel the presence of god and i was like acha tu nitoke nitoke tu nje kidogo and then i'll be back after wame settle so mimi nika, nikatoka nikarudi Karudin kaketi. Kaketi. He. Nakwambia like everybody am settle. All of a sudden like my environment ili change, ili shift like this. Mm-hmm. Like nili feel nili feel kani kwa, kwa I don't know kwa ocean. I <laughs> nili feel nika niko place fit sana. Like niko cool, kuna peace, kuna love like environmentally change atmosphere ili change all of a sudden alafu god akaanza kuongea akani show like if you're not going to accept me now you you will never accept me na hapo ndivyo nilijua i was at a point kama god amenipe hii like presence yake hivi vyote alafu tena nimkatae like my heart ingeendelea ku harden na no wonder ni show hivyo but for me hata siko na I wasn't so focused on what he said but on that nikuwa focused on the presence your presence ya god because it was so i don't know it nikuwa tunasikia ku rest like kusikia tu vizuri so hapo nika god akani show kama I've accepted him minga nikasema yes i will accept you but mimi nimejaribu kuokoka ndivyo the gay feelings ziishe but sijaweza god akani show like we tulia accept me hizo zingine niachie so that is what i did nili mu accept na yeye ngine nikamwatia hadi wa leo i thought that the 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 main problem with me was the gay attractions sikujua niko na anger issues sikujua niko na anxiety sikujua niko na a lying tongue so i deal with the specifics the the the, the small foxes Nona zenye uwezi jo. So mimi nilikuwa focused on the, the big fox uh-huh. which is gazing uh-huh. the homosexuality but so, God ali alianza ku deal na my my lying tongue, my anxiety, aka deal na my anger issues of which I endelea ku deal nazo in my juni kwa take a lot of alcohol. So aka deal na yo pia. Uh-huh. Na hivyo ndivyo tukaanza journey na God. So the first instruction in your god alini show mm. ni i open up to my pastors so mimi nilienda kwa bishop na kwa pasi ni come show like my life vile iko of it siko siko very bold kwa show cuz mm. niliwa nilienda kwao ni kwa show like i want to talk i want to speak with you now the bishop i want to speak with you but like le, let's speak after the service so mimi kangoza so nikaanza kupata like cold feet like staki kuongea na yeye cuz atanijua sasa so mean nilikuwa nataka saa after service ni ishie to home na tulikuwa na wazae sasa nikienda tu kuingia hivi like bishop akani akaniona kaniambia masi kuja so aka akaenda for for accountability akakuja na another pastor so i had to open up to them na wao ni wase wananijua kutoka nilikuwa mtoi so nili open up to them they prayed for me and yeah it was weird but it was cool because mm-hmm. yeah, I, i felt like a burden ilitoka from my shoulder mm-hmm. so yo yo it really happened 2019 so 2020 time ya corona around jan ama feb of which nimeanza jan na god so nimeanza ku study nimeanza ku study bible nimeanza kufanya research nimeanza ku ku fast yani hizi vitu za spirit ku, ku i don't know to to build up yourself spiritually nilianza ku do hivyo but sasa 2020 jan ama around jan ama feb we one day like one night mimi ni msemi upenda ku doze naweza doze hadi saa sita but your siku like niliamshwa 
nilisikia tu nimeamshwa at around 3 am nimeamshwa nimeambiwa ni kneel down niombe like ni kitu nina feel like nifanye like hata nilikuwa nadhani amina trans so ninaamka mimi ni mse okay at that time nilikuwa mse mzembe singe kneel down hata kama ni kuomba hata wa leo wana like kuamka 3 niombe na kuanga shida but your time nili feel to ku do hivyo nika kneel down nikaanza kuomba nikiendelea kuomba all of a sudden nikaanza ku burst in tongues sijika unajua tongues mm. like nikaanza ku burst in tongues siko najua hiyo ni nini uh, siko na like nilis, nilisikia like like hotness like uh, warmth na sweat nina shout and uh, nina speak in tongues sasa siko najua hiyo ni nini ninasikia tu ninaongea but nikijaribu kujinyamazisha siezi kwanza the moment ninajinyamazisha juu ya neighbors wa medoz taki kwa kupigia kelele ndivyo inaendelea like najaribu kunyamaza ina, ina burst so yeah hapo ndivyo sana nikajua was filled with the holy ghost so after that nikafanya mari, my research juu sana nilianza kujiuliza is this the god of the bible mm-hmm. and why do i think that it is the god of the bible bona isikuwe the god of the muslim bona isikuwe the african gods bona isikuwe the indian gods so mimi nikafanya research yangu yote mm-hmm. nikachukua quran nikachukua ile bhagavad gita ya, ya nini ya indians nikachukua like uh, african gods nikachukua hizo hizo books zao nikafanya research Mm-hmm. Now the only book it makes sense ama it coincide na what I was feeling ama what I was going through it is the bible na hapo ndivyo nilijua like this is the the god of the bible yeah ambaye nime meet okay mm. wow such an inspiring story yeah now, let me take you back now so mm-hmm. squeezy you are straight kabisa uh says it's I'm straight mm-hmm. but because the goal kumbuka nikiwa class 8 nikiwa form 4 my goal was to be straight mm-hmm. so god am initial the goal is not to be straight mm-hmm. and by the way kama we ni gay na una struggle sana na your homosexuality mm-hmm. the goal shouldn't shouldn't be to be straight mm-hmm. it should be to be holy like mm-hmm. god to mm-hmm. be like god because mm-hmm. kuna a lot of straight people ambao they are evil mm-hmm. uh, so the objective it's not to be straight the objective mm-hmm. it is to be holy mm-hmm. but i get your 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 point cuz lazima sana nipate familia i have that vision and nime pray na nimeambia god i want a family mm-hmm. na ana ana nirekebisha before i have now the family cuz singleness it's a gift mm-hmm. eh. okay uh, just a bit so ningependa nijue like ile story ambayo unatupea you are saying ulikuwa but what is the difference between lesbian and gay lesbian and gay uh, i think ni ni genders lesbian ni uh, madem mm-hmm. gay ni maboy mm. mm. okay mm. sawa sawa so yeah. so ulikuwa gay ama ulikuwa <laughs> ama ulikuwa lesbian simi <laughs> mini dem so ni kwa lesbian so ni kwa lesbian eh yeah. yeah, because some people will be confused eh yeah. because you have a lot of story you are someone who is gay so what are called like ah oh gay gay is a term and <coughs> inatumika na both both if yeah. you have homo- homosexual attraction so mm. kama hata we ni dem mm. unaweza sema i'm just gay oh yeah. sawa sawa mm. so wakati ulikuwa shule mm. ukiwa high school sana sana mm-hmm. because umesema kuna msichana uko anapenda nini mm. kama andikia barua akaku disappoint mm. did, did you feel like embarrassed hapana mm. sasa udemo atakuwa anachukuliaje una get mm. mm-hmm. for me I, i didn't feel embarrassed nilikuwa liberated mm. like for the first time i could express myself i could mm. express my feelings Oh ni attraction sema nga eh nimekatia dem at least eh at least oh. for once mm. eh oh yeah. nice eh na campus campo eh, eh nimeka na feel any weirdness obviously because of my christian background mm-hmm. nilikuwa najifita cuz hata kuvaa sikuwa na vaa like ka stud eh nilikuwa tomboy but sikuwa na vaa ka stud mm. jusa kwa lesbian kuna 
wase wa watatu kwa le, lesbians kuna stud kuna fem na kuna stem so stud ni mwenye anakaa boy kabisa fem ni feminine mse gali gali afu kuna mademo nyoko katikati stud na fem so mimi nilikuwa hivyo mm. mm. okay wase walikuwa na kujudge kuna judge uh, actually i think my my circle ili ni accept because nili come out to them nikiwa kampo and was, they were like at that time nickname yangu ilikuwa Jayo walikuwa na show a Jayo tuko tunajua tuko tushajua so yeah. oh. walikuwa tu wame ni accept I think was a campus uko ng understanding sana eh yeah. and at that Apoko time they are keen on eh so hizi vitu zote zimekufunza nini masi um kenye menifunza ni to know how to receive the love of god because mm-hmm. at times tunadhani ingi tukifanya mistakes nika god ameku amekuatilia ame unaona but god eh god ako na upendo mwingine kali sana like ndivyo apeane like his only begotten son mm-hmm. ako na upendo like i i can't explain it mm-hmm. eh so hiyo imenifunza like to not take the not take for granted the love of god mm. okay. so the goal is not uh, to be straight the goal is to be holy yeah because kuna watu yeah, this according to you kuna watu wengi umesema kuna watu wengi the straight but they are not holy they are evil yeah so sasa so, ningependa kuangalia kwa kamera yako hapo mm. uh ini yako ile ni ya nyumbani so mm-hmm. tutaangalia yako okay uh, talk to young girls out there who mm. may be <coughs> excuse me who have uh, such feelings who are gonna feelings towards ladies mm. maybe wana feel like to buy and kitu mzuri just talk to them encourage them yeah, and maybe a word to them okay kitu wenye mimi naweza wa show like um kama si we uli choose kukuwa gay kama mimi si ku choose kukuwa gay like si ku choose the attractions that i had so unaweza feel kenye mimi na feel because I, I was at where you were so if you're feeling those gay attractions right now it's not like it's not your fault ni the sin ambayo tume tumezaliwa nayo but god god ako na love nyingine crazy ambayo inaweza kutoa hapo because by the way nili, kuna time nilianza ku debate na ku debate na how I say LGBTQ community mm-hmm. ilianza ku debate now and God alini rebuke because mm-hmm. alikuwa like wewe unajifanya unajua okay mm-hmm. hakuwa literally haikuwa mm-hmm. hivyo but Kenya ni interpret unajifanya unajua and yet it is my grace ambayo imeku save so i don't know if you're feeling judged right now na wasi wengi but ile love and your God akonayo kwako and ile ni rebuke <laughs> ndivo like upate chance to understand his grace like ako na grace nyingine amazing ambayo itakusaidia kutoka na ku, kutoka from that lifestyle na ku have a future you know have kids i know ungependa kupata kids ungependa kupata in, un, un, ungependa kuwa in a good marriage and a good relationship ambayo it's godly i know it ninajua kwa zata mimi nilikuwa nilikuwa natamani hivyo but allow god allow god let go and allow god so okay fine let me bother you to come mm-hmm. let me bother you for a minute uh-huh. you, you you've said that you'd like to have a baby family like that means you'd like to have kids right yeah how are you gonna go about it please uh the same the same lane you only meant ya mungu cuz mm. obviously niana niona vile niko naona the 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 negatives that i have mm-hmm. na ni ye, ni ye atanisaidia kuzi eradicate mm. so siezipenda watu wangu anipate nikiwa like 70% messed up yeah obviously atutakuwa perfect but at least wanipate nikiwa tu 20% messed up ama mm. 10% messed up yeah. ndivyo hata waki grow wa grow in a conducive environment. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I will allow God to do his thing but I will also do my part. Okay. Uh, Fine. Thank you so much for your mm-hmm. time. Thank you so much for taking time to be with us. Yeah, tunafurahi, tunashukuru sana. Mm-hmm. And I think watu wapo nje wamekuwa inspired sana. 
maybe tukimalizia sasa kabisa eh nimekuwa kama pasta <laughs> tukimalizia last but not least ulikuwa msema wani rapa eh mimi ni rapa do you like uh, produce music regularly ama kuwa unafanya gadi uh, for now nilikuwa nimeweka koma kidogo because uh-huh. nilianzia nikio, nilianza ku rap bado nikiwa homo so niliona and it was gospel rap so uh-huh. niliona kwanza I slow down mm. eh, but kuna kitu kali nimeweka kwanza mm. ingine collab Super Mr. Mbili tatu hivi. Super <laughs> Mr. We. Okay. Yo 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 ndada kupea backup. <laughs> <laughs> kadogo tu. Eh kadogo okay. tu ndio tunataka hako. Okay. Ah. Uh, Mill spin na Mill speed a better wondering that Who is this mini clock so Christ na she told me this in Christ it is niko na so much energy ah uh, take a seat tava tibu ni ku treat rap sia my face niko na word what to feast yo masi clocks ah, mbaya <laughs> na hii masi clocks masi clocks clocks ni jina eh clocks ni jina like in initial ya child of the lord mm-hmm. entering the reigning kingdom for salvation mm-hmm. so tukiwa wengi hivi we are children of the lord entering yeah. the reigning kingdom for salvation Wow. Yeah. Napenda vile unapenda Mungu na vile una knowledge God sana. Yeah. Mungu anasaidia siku zote. Yeah. Thank you so much guys for watching. Mambo ni mengi. Nimekuwa nikipiga story na Masi Clark. Amepeana story amazing sana and I hope you guys are going to use it uh iwasaidia na inspire watu wengi pale nje because people are going through a lot out there. Yeah. Thank you so much guys for watching. Mambo ni mengi. Muda ni mchache. For now it is a bye bye. I'll see you in the next one.